I've known Brad Wright for oh, uh, 20, 23 years now, um, you know, and uh, um, and uh, the stuff that that we went through um, in creating that show, and I I, I have a, an interesting story about Brad. Uh, we were uh, on an aircraft carrier. Uh, we were invited on an aircraft carrier. Is this the um, Carl Vinson? Oh uh, yeah, we were on Stargate the Stargate Universe. Yeah. Okay. And uh, uh, when when I have a picture of Brad, I I, uh, I didn't know this was the moment, but I have a picture of Brad Wright. Uh, we were standing at the tail at the, at the stern of the uh, um, of the aircraft carrier, just watching this amazing sea and behind us, and and uh, um, and. Uh, Brad came downstairs from, uh, he'd been in the tower. Uh, he came down the stairs and had this look on his face. And I took this picture of him and uh, he looked at me and he said, universe is canceled. It was the moment he found out that universe was canceled. We were out on a, we You're were at out sea. on a, Your phones don't work. No. And, uh, and uh, uh, John Lennox had, uh, was with us and he just found out um, from the, uh, um, uh, from the control room that, uh, that, uh, this had happened. Somebody had seen it on Twitter or something like that, and they just told Brad. And uh, he looked at me and said, "I can't. Uh, I can't tell the. Um, I can't tell the cast that we had with us, um, who were on board the aircraft carrier with you. Who were on board with us, yeah, because we were having such an amazing time, all of us together. Yeah. And uh, but he told me, and I, I had this picture of him, and that picture is is haunting because of the look on his face, and you could see how that affected him." that that loss of that show you know and and um and it was uh uh that's that's a picture that i always remember and i was i would look at occasionally to to remind myself how um people care about the, the things that they're doing the shows that they work on and things like that because it's it, it, there's it's such a transient business and people are in and people are out and other people will pick up the reins for something and and uh um uh, that was one of those moments where I looked at Brad and I thought that that man just really just got very badly hurt yeah. um, by the loss of that. I'm going to open the doors to the dog. Sure. You know, Absolutely. Ah. <laughs> Never darken my door again. <laughs> oh, they, all they want to do is, is have you open the door for them so they can go in and out. Exactly. I exactly. remember getting the news that universe was canceled and I took it very personally. <laughs> and it took a long time for me to get over because I was so invested in the mythology that Brad had built with Jonathan and with Rob and with all of you over the years. But also, this was the first time that you guys had set a target in a specific show and said, this is where we're going. We don't know what the this is yet, but destiny had a destination mm -hmm. and it was ripped from us, you know, and it sucks to this day, you know, that, which is why I am so behind Brad in wanting to develop the fourth show so that he can carry on in some form what uh, the missions of, of the three commands, Destiny, Atlantis, and SGC were before. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, how did you discover uh, this production or, or production, film and television production? You indicated your dad was, some, was somehow yeah. involved. Um, my dad worked in, uh, he had a, a, a Canadian television show called This Land um, that he was producer and, uh, um, uh, and host of. And so uh, very early on, I went to, um, I hung around on set uh, with them. I, I uh, started shooting film very early um, and he just did not want me to, <laughs> didn't want me to be in television. Why not? It, it, because I think he realized how fickle it was. And, uh, and um, he enjoyed himself while he was in it, but I think that he was not, um, I wanted to be a cameraman. I, I started out shooting uh, news and, and things like this, and he just didn't want me, he didn't want me doing that. He wanted me to get a real job. And, uh, and then uh, when I started doing it, we actually, be, uh, uh, before he died, we got a chance to do a, a documentary together uh, where we traveled. Uh, together it was a it was a documentary about uh, Auschwitz believe it or not um, we traveled Ooh, with a um, heavy. with a survivor um, who wow. had been 16 when he was in the camp he lived for four years there as a Polish Catholic and uh, 
um, traveled with two, uh, a Jewish young man and, uh, and another Jewish survivor, uh, went back uh, and, uh, and shot this documentary. And my dad uh, wrote it and, and, and uh, produced it and hosted it. And I shot it. And we got a chance to work together. And that was something that was, that was amazing uh, to be together. I don't know how I would have done it without him there. And I don't know if he would have been able to do it without me there because we supported each other in such an amazing way, just because it is, it is the most horrible place on earth. It's just, uh, um, but it was, it was amazing to do that together. And I think that that's what made it for me. Um, so we got a chance to do that. Um, uh, uh, Having said that, um, the, the story of me coming to Stargate was interesting um, because I, uh, um, I had a friend who was producing the first season of it, uh, Ron French was his name, and Ron and I had done a number of different things. I'd been his uh, um, second AD for a long time, um, then started firsting for him on a show called The Commish. Um, <laughs> of course. Yeah, yeah uh, with Chicky. Yeah. And... Uh, and uh, we, um, we, uh, he called and said, you know, I, I need a, I need a first AD on this thing to do the first, uh, the second block. Andy Makita was the first AD on, on the first block. And then I was the, uh, supposed to be the, the first AD on the second block. And I said, you know what, uh, Ron, I've, I've started directing just, I'd done one, uh, one episode of a, um, a series called two, um, uh, uh, and, and, uh, um, really wanted to pursue directing. He said, well, maybe, you know, we might have some second units, you know, something like that. So I went in and, uh, I, I, uh, first AD, the, uh, first assistant directed the, um, um, the second, uh, show and the fourth show, uh, of the series. And while I was doing the second show, um, Michael Greenberg and Richard Anderson said to me, um, hey, you know, we understand that you're directing some stuff. Can you direct some second units for us? And I said, sure. And for SG-1 the, or for MacGyver? Yeah. SG-1. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. And uh, I said, sure. And started doing all these inserts for it. And then um, they put the, the first, uh, the, the pilot episode together that Mary Rose or Party directed. And, uh, and went, oh, we need some scenes reshot. We need this done. We need this. Uh, we need this. Uh, we have to add this scene. We have to do this. So there were full scenes that were coming forward. And there was one with, with uh, Michael and Amanda in the uh, prison um, that they had to get out of. And uh, we were shooting, uh, uh, I had to shoot a, the, reshoot that scene. And there was a couple of other scenes that I had to reshoot. And, uh, and so I did that and was able to get the, uh, um, the stuff to them. And they ended up doing it. They said, oh, you know what else we need? We need, uh, we need somebody to go to, uh, to, um, uh, 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 May, uh, NORAD and shoot some establishers. And I went, Colorado oh, Springs. I'll do it. Yeah. And uh, so went, and that's a story in and of itself. Uh, uh, the first time and the second time was a very much different trip for me. Thanks for watching this clip from Dial the Gate. You can find the full live stream shows on our YouTube channel or visit dialthegate.com for the complete schedule. See you on the other side.